Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Forms and Google Slides together to automatically send certificates to students when they complete a Google Form or a quiz in Google Forms. Let's go ahead and take a look here. First of all, the tool that we're going to use inside of Google Forms is called Certifyum. And I've written about this and made videos about it in the past, but Certifyum has had some updates since I made my last video about it, so I thought I'd make a new one. First of all, let's go ahead and create a new blank form. And let's just call this one our Demo Certificate Quiz. And an important thing to do now is to make sure that we change our settings to make this a quiz. If you don't make it a quiz, Certifyum will not work. In fact, if you don't make it a quiz, you won't even see Certifyum in your list of add-ons in Google Forms. So make sure you turn it on as a quiz. Make sure you have that created. Now, my first question here is going to be something simple like your name. And the reason I want to have your name in here is that I want to make sure that the student's name appears on the certificate that we're going to send to them. And yes, you can make that a required question. And we want to turn off any points assigned to that because obviously you're not going to grade students on filling in their names. Now, the next thing we're going to do is add our question. What color is the sky, uh, sky on a sunny day? And we'll put in some options. Blue, green, black. And we'll make that required as well and make that a five point question. Now we can do one more just for fun. Let's say, what is the tallest mountain in the world? And we'll make that one a multiple choice question of Everest, K2, or Denali. So, we have our answers there. We need to make sure our answer key is set correctly. So blue is the answer there. And our answer key here, Everest, and done. Now, we've created our quiz, and we want to activate Certifyum so that when students get a passing grade on this, they will get a certificate. And let's go here to our add-ons and select Certifyum. If you don't have it installed already, Simply go to the More menu, select Add-ons, and do a search for Certifyum, and then install it. But in this case here, you can see I already have it installed. So Certifyum, and we're going to make sure that we have it enabled. So we'll see here, I have Enable Certifyum in this quiz. Now let's go ahead and get started. And I should note that occasionally I will have to reload the Google form before Certifyum appears. If you don't see it on the first try, just reload the form and Certifyum will then appear. That's one of the quirks I've run into over the years. And now let's turn on the certification status. We'll see that this form is now collecting emails. And we're going to set a minimum passing score over here. And let's say our minimum passing score, the default is 80%, but for this demo, we'll say it's 50%. And we can change the template of the form. You can see all the different form options here. You can, all, all the certificate options here, I should say. You can also design your own, and you can do that in Google Slides. And you can say, design my own, or select an existing one from Google Slides that you've previously created, like I have here, 
There's my certificate that I created. And that's going to save. And then that will be the certificate that gets emailed to my students when they get a passing score. So now it's turned on. And we can even go and email ourselves a sample of this. And so there's our sample certificate. It's been emailed. And here it is. There it is. There's the certificate. And students can download it or save it to their Google Drive. And a student will complete this form just like they'd complete any other form. So here, if my student is Mason, he fills this out. And he's going to answer this correctly and hit submit. And he's going to see he got a passing score. He got 100%. And now he can go and check his email and get the certificate right there. And so now Mason checks his email and he sees right there, Mason the dog has gotten his certificate. So that's how you can use Google Forms and Google Slides to automatically send certificates to students when they complete a Google Form or a quiz in Google Forms. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.